Hey guys, what's up? So Samsung was the first company to introduce curved screens on their smartphones with the Galaxy Note Edge launched way back in 2014, followed by an improved Galaxy S6 Edge with dual curves on the screen. But recently, the company has been taking a slightly different approach with the design of their flagship smartphones. The Galaxy S20 series is the first flagship from the company to feature a more or less flat display where the curves feel like any other phone with a 2.5D curved glass. It led us to believe that Samsung is dialing back on this design aspect, which may not be true. According to IC Universe, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will feature a curved screen display that is more in line with the Note 10 Plus than the S20 series, which is a great thing. Personally, I like the curves on smartphones, which not only make them look premium, but also helps with gestures and handling of the device. The curves make the device narrower compared to a similar sized phone with a flat display. Also, the side bezels on the phone have been reduced further by 0.29mm, making the device even better to grip. The forehead and chin have been reduced by 0.4mm combined, while the hole diameter has been reduced by 1mm, which should give it a more all-screen device feel. Not only this, the thickness of the phone has been reduced by 0.3mm compared to the Note 10 Plus, making it only 7.6mm thin, a whole 1.2mm thinner than the S20 Ultra, which should make it the best-looking Samsung device in a while, improving the feel in the hand as well. Also, the phone might feature the Snapdragon 865 Plus SoC that has a 3.09 GHz clock speed over the Snapdragon 865 which has a 2.84 GHz speed. Now, it is not known as to what are the improvements it will bring along with it or if it will be just an overclocked 865. Keeping in mind, Mizu's CMO did say that there won't be a Snapdragon 865 Plus this year. So we'll have to see how that goes, especially since a lot of smartphones are rumored to be powered by this same overclocked Snapdragon 865 processor. It is expected that the Exynos variant will also get a bump to the 6 nanometer Exynos 992 chip that should improve the performance by 1-3% to compared to the Snapdragon 865 and should be more power efficient based on the manufacturing process. The phone should also have support for both QHD Plus and 120Hz at the same time, unlike the S20 series and more in line with other smartphones launched this year like the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Oppo Find X2 Pro. It should also feature an LTPO display which is a first for the mobile phone industry and the phone has new camera functions along with new hardware like the 13 megapixel sensor instead of the 48 megapixel sensor seen on the S20 Ultra under the periscope lens which should improve the results in low light situations and we may expect a better camera performance compared to the S20 Ultra. The S Pen on the device is getting an upgrade too with a latency of just 9 millisecond, which is equal to what the Apple Pencil supports as well. That should make it using the S Pen a breeze on the Note 20, especially on the Note 20 Ultra with that 120Hz super smooth display, which should make it feel like there is no delay at all. Along with that, the S Pen may have some new features which we know nothing about as of now. Also, the cases for the Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra depict a similar story as the S20 and the S20 Ultra in terms of the camera bump which is more or less similar to those two devices and that is a given with similar hardware. Finally, Ice Universe has given us the bezel size of the Galaxy Fold 2 which according to him would be just 3.8mm while the hole punch will be 4.8mm. This should make the device feel more futuristic than the previous Galaxy Fold. All in all, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is shaping up to be the dream Note device that the loyal Note fan wants, while the rest of us can enjoy the Note 10 at a substantially lower price tag. That's it for this video, do let me know your opinion about the Note 20 Ultra. Smash the like button if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech videos. I will see you all in the next one. Till then, bye bye and stay safe.